Hi everyone. Welcome to part two of all the triangle concepts. Once again, in a short span of time, we are going to uh, complete the remaining concepts of triangle. So this two videos, that is part one and part two, will cover all the uh, concepts of triangle. And after this, I'll release a video on YouTube uh, be, for uh, the triangle important PYQs. And then uh, next day, you can join me for the practice test on an academy learning gap. So make sure that you are attending all the sessions so that you can get maximum learning. So in part one, we uh, discussed all these concepts i uh, hope that you have remembered them uh, it's very easy because i have uh, clearly outlined everything so if you if you just read it couple of times and if you just understand that i'm sure you will be able to remember that and then don't forget to revise because you will remember that right now but then chances are high that you may forget after a week so keep revising uh, after every three four days and then you will not require to do the revision and you will be able to tackle the easy moderate questions of triangles right and uh, in this part this is what we are going to discuss so we'll discuss equilateral triangle in detail then we'll look at uh, geometric centers and theorems and we'll look at similarity and congruency so let's quickly complete this concepts it's going to be slightly more detailed particularly these geometric centers because there are four geometric centers and there are theorems and properties related to that okay so uh, yeah it will take about 12 to 15 minutes for us to complete this and similarity congruency is once again a very useful concept it's a simple concept so we'll understand through examples so uh, before we go ahead guys make sure that you have joined this telegram channel so let's understand equilateral triangle you know all the sides are equal each angle is also 60 degree that is all the angles are equal now if i take side of an equilateral triangle as a then height of the equilateral triangle will be root 3 by 2 times side now why is it root 3 by 2 times side let's quickly understand so if i drop a perpendicular in equilateral triangle you can easily make out this angle is 90 degree we know this is 60 degree and this has to be 30 degree right so this perpendicular will also uh, be the angle bisector okay so in equilateral triangle median altitude angle bisector perpendicular bisector all will be the same line okay so uh, this is nothing but a 30 60 90 triangle and i'm sure in the previous part i had explained 30 60 90 triangle so you understand if uh, this is a then side opposite to 30 degrees should be a by 2 and this should be root 3 by 2 times a right or if this is 2a then this will be root 3a and this will be a so based on that we can get this relation that height will be root 3 by 2 times side so please remember that now circum radius is nothing but two third of height okay so circum radius if i take a point over here which will be the circum uh, center okay so this portion will be two third of this portion or you can say this point the circum center itself will be the centroid also and centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 right so this uh, height will be divided in the ratio 2 is to 1 so you can say circum radius is nothing but two third of height and we know this is the height so multiplied by two thirds so you will get a by root 3 so you know instead of just mugging up this formula you can try to derive this formula as i have shown you right and then you will be able to easily remember them okay and in radius is half of circum radius so if this is a by root 3 then this is going to be a by 2 root 3 now area of equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 times side square okay uh, just remember this point so this is what you need to understand as far as equilateral triangle is concerned now you may be asked questions where an equilateral triangle is drawn inside a square or a square is inscribed in an equilateral triangle so how to tackle such questions so this all variety will be covered during the pyqs and practice test so yes uh, for timing you just make sure that you remember this uh, concepts now talking about geometric centers so there are four geometric centers ortho center uh, median uh, sorry centroid then circum center and in center so ortho center is perpendicular uh, you know in intersection of perpendicular uh, or you can say heights altitude so ortho center is the intersection of altitudes okay so in triangle if you draw three altitudes it will pass through a common point which is called ortho center then the second one is centroid as far as ortho center goes there are no theorems related to that it's just a concept which you need to understand the centroid is a very important point uh, it's an intersection point of medians okay and uh, uh, you know centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 so this is something that you need to remember and uh, yeah uh, whenever we draw median there is an apollonius theorem which i'll show you on the next slide then the third one is in center so it's an intersection point of uh, angle bisectors so in a triangle if i draw angle bisectors like this you know so this angle is bisected this angle is bisected and this angle is bisected so this 
common point of intersection of angle bisector is called in center and from there if we draw a perpendicular so this will become in radius and similarly circumcenter is nothing but a, a, a intersection point of perpendicular bisectors so you take any side identify the midpoint draw a perpendicular passing through that so that is called perpendicular bisector and the common intersection point of this perpendicular bisector is called circumcenter now let's quickly understand some important points so in median and centroid we need to remember this point centroid divides the three medians in the ratio 2 is to 1 um, okay and uh, for example over here this ad is the median and g is the centroid so g divides ad in the ratio 2 is to 1 that is ag is to dg is 2 is to 1 similarly cg is to ge is 2 is to 1 bg is to gf is 2 is to 1 right now apollonius theorem uh, you know gives you relation between the median and the sides for example if i take this median that is ad then it gives me relation apollonius theorem will give me relation of ad with this three sides so what is that relation let's understand so yeah look at this first one so ab square plus ac square so i'm talking about these two sides and i'm talking about this media so ab square plus ac square is equal to two, two times bracket ad square plus bd square bd is nothing but half of third side similarly ab square plus bc square is two times bf square plus af square and so and so forth so this is apollonius theorem um rarely this uh, question has been asked based on apollonius theorem but it's a good idea in case you are targeting something like 99 plus percentile you would like to check everything at the nook and corner so that's why you can remember otherwise you can simply omit this chances of uh, question being asked based on that are very less okay right one important point that um, which is very simple which all of you need to remember so the point is uh, median divides a triangle into two equal area triangle for example if i take a triangle and if i draw median okay so this two areas uh, this triangle will get divided into two equal area triangles so this is something that you need to remember now angle bisector theorem so angle bisector theorem says that okay, if i draw an angle bisector so the ratio of this two side will be same as ratio of the third side which is bisected by this angle bisector so what i'm trying to tell you is ab upon ac should be equal to bd upon dc as mentioned over here similarly this is called internal angle bisector internal angle bisector similarly there can be external angle bisector so uh, you know this is angle a and if i extend this so this is called external angle a and i have drawn an angle bisector which bisects this external angle a again the theorem will remain same ab upon ac will be equal to bd upon cd so that theorem will remain same um yes uh, this theorem has been used a um, couple of times in last uh, six seven years so it's a good idea to remember this and uh, one important point guys in right angle triangle the circum center is always the midpoint of hypotenuse please remember this the circum center is midpoint of hypotenuse okay so uh, if i just want to show you the complete figure this is how it looks so uh, think it this way that in a circle if i draw a diameter and uh, if i connect uh, this diameter to any point on the circumference it will uh, be a 90 degree uh, angle so we know this thing so this is nothing but a right angle triangle and the midpoint of uh, this hypotenuse is nothing but center of the circle or you can say circum center for the triangle right angle triangle so remember this point um yeah let's take up one question in triangle abc ad be and cf are the medians o is the centroid um area of triangle abc is given as 24 units then find the area of uh, quadrilateral aeof so we need to find out this area now it's very easy to identify guys k uh, you know this centroid if i connect the centroid uh, with the midpoint of sides and uh, uh, so this quadrilateral will be one third of the complete triangle so this three quad uh, this three quadrilaterals which i have shaded okay i hope you are able to see that right this quadrilateral and this quadrilateral so this three will have equal area so straight away we can say this is going to be eight this is going to be eight this is going to be eight there is another way to prove it for example we know median divides area into equal parts so i can straight away say that uh, this triangle a b d area will be half of the complete abc so this is going to be 12 and this area is also going to be 12 right now in that also yeah if i look at this triangle okay um just a moment 
Hmm. This is one way to prove it. The other way to prove it is the, the better way to prove it is this one. You know, look at this three triangles, which are formed by connecting. Let me use different color. Hmm. So this three triangle. Okay. So triangle A O B A O B. Then triangle uh, A O C A O C and triangle B O C. All will have equal area all will have equal area right this is another way of looking at that so this areas will be what uh, 8 8 8 now in triangle uh, a o b say for example so we are talking about this triangle okay can i say this o f is the median because f is the midpoint of a b so again this will have equal area this two will be equal so if this total is 8 this will become 4 and this will also be 4 Similarly, you can prove that this is going to be 4. So you can once again say this quadrilateral will have total area of 8. So these are just multiple ways of looking at the same thing. Okay. Fine. Now, uh, next part is similarity and congruency. So guys, similar triangles, matlab their shape are similar. Now, when do two triangles have similar shape? So just look at this bigger triangle and smaller triangle. What I've done is I've placed the smaller triangle inside the bigger triangle so their shapes will be identical only if the sides are parallel then this sides are parallel and this sides are parallel so if i just extend them i can easily say this will become corresponding angle this will become corresponding angle so basically this angle has to be equal to this angle this angle has to be equal to this angle and so on and so forth so two triangles will be similar in shape when their corresponding angles are equal now there are certain tests to prove it so angle angle test side angle side test and side 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 test so just check that side angle side test means ratio of two sides same and angle between those two sides is also same for example you are given two triangles okay now these two sides have same ratio these two sides are in same ratio sides are not same the ratio is same and this angle is equal in both the triangles then we can say they are similar triangle so this is another way of proving similarity now, one very important point, if two triangles are similar, then ratio of sides, height, in radius, circumradius, median, etc. are also same. Okay. So, and uh, one more thing, ratio of areas of two similar triangle is square of ratio of sides. For example, this is 4, this is 6. So, area of bigger triangle is called A1. Let's call this area A2. So, ratio of A1 and A2 will be 6 by 4 ka square. So, you can say it's going to be uh yeah nine by four are you all getting this point yes and uh, congruent triangles means exactly the same triangle all measurements are same these are the test to prove congruency now what is rhs test so in two right angle triangles please understand remaining test i'm sure you can easily make out but in two right angle triangles of course right angle is equal hypotenuse measurement is equal and one of the side is also equal this is five centimeter this is five centimeters so we can say these two triangles are congruent triangles so this is how you can prove congruency one last thing guys one very important point similarity in right angle triangle now what is similarity in right angle triangle so here triangle abc is a right angle triangle and what i have done is i have drawn a perpendicular bd on ac right so i can say triangle abc is similar to triangle <coughs> BDC. Why so? Can I say B is 90 degree in triangle BDC, D is 90 degree, C angle is same in both. So definitely this angle B has to be equal to this angle A because two angles are equal. This is equal to D, this C is equal to C. So definitely A has to be equal to B and we can prove similarity over here. Now here we can say AB upon BC is equal to BD upon DC. Okay. So I can say uh, this is one way of writing AB into DC is equal to BC into BD. And you can derive few more relations over here. For example, uh, let, me, let me just write another relation where uh, you will get... Uh, a different relation so ye to ek aapka relation ho hi gaya uh, dusra main kuch aise relation likh sakta hu ac upon bc ac upon bc okay is equal to bc upon dc bc upon dc so i can say bc square is equal to ac into dc are you getting this point 
तो ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट रिलेशन है बी सी स्क्वायर मतलब ये साइड का स्क्वायर आपका किसके बराबर होगा ए सी और डी सी के प्रोडक्ट के बराबर होगा तो ये रिजल्ट को हम काफी बार यूज करते हैं पर मैं सजेस्ट नहीं करूंगा आप इसको रट्टा मार लो आप हमेशा एग्जाम के अंदर एक दस पंद्रह सेकेंड और लगेगा फटाफट ड्रॉ करके सिमिलरिटी प्रूव करके आप ये रेशियो लिख सकते हो तो इसको याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है अननेसेसरी बर्डन मत करना बट ये सबको पता होना चाहिए कि अगर एक राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल दिया है उसमें कहीं पे पर एंगल ड्रॉ किया तो सिमिलरिटी का कॉन्सेप्ट यूज होगा अगर ऐसा कोई क्वेश्चन आता है तो ठीक है सो दोस्तों इस तरीके से हमने ट्राइंगल के सारे कॉन्सेप्ट कंप्लीट किए हैं अब बारी है क्वेश्चन को प्रैक्टिस करने की सबसे पहले हम पी देखेंगे एक वीडियो आएगा तो उसको आप पूरा देखना और उसके बाद में लाइव सेशन के लिए मेरे साथ जुड़ना कहाँ पे अनिकिन मी लर्निंग ऐप पे कब नाइनटीन अक्टूबर को जोमेट्री ट्राइंगल प्रैक्टिस क्लास पहला होगा फिर उसके बाद में रेक्टेंगल का भी इस तरीके से आगे वीडियोस आएंगे रेक्टेंगल का भी पी वाई क्यू आएगा और रेक्टेंगल का भी प्रैक्टिस क्लास होगा क्वाड्रिलेटरल का सॉरी रेक्टेंगल मतलब क्वाड्रिलेटरल तो कीप अटेंडिंग दिस गाइस एंड या स्टे ट्यून फॉर मोर वीडियोस एंड यूज माई कोच आर्ट एंड मैनवर यू गो फॉर प्लस और आइकनिक सब्सक्रिप्शन दैट्स इट एज फर एज दिस वीडियोज गोज सी यू इन दी अदर वीडियो